The Sasso Energy Innovation Challenge came about as a result of trying to find ways to excite the learners, particularly those in our fence line communities, around the long running Sasso Solar Challenge. So the learners are allowed to participate all along the route to see the cars, to cheer for all of the drivers, but they never really got to interact with the concepts and why we're doing what we're doing. So we then put together a program that will enable our learners to not only understand the concepts around renewable energy, particularly solar, but also enable them to implement and to physically put together prototypes, projects, research, etc. and come and present them as a way of understanding what our current energy crisis is as a country and how they as young people can innovate and uh, create um, uh, uh, new ideas that will uh, revolutionize how we face uh, this energy crisis going forward. We learned that differential drive, we can turn the car left and right using the motors. I came here to learn about solar cars and we learned about many things, the energy from the, from the sun, the coast and this car. I'm, yeah, and where do they come from? Whatever they've done here is very beautiful. Like some others, they are hydraulic, they move with, with, with solar, the sun. You know, that's amazing to see. I think now they're exposed, they know that uh, solar is very important. So they are going to use it in, in their everyday lives. So this one is very important, it just exposed them to many opportunities and they must know, they, they now know that they how to use these solar energies. The schools that have won, particularly the secondary schools, are all the schools that we participate in uh, as SASOL. They are actually members of the Technical Schools of Excellence Network. And it shows that when we, we invest in the schools, there's big things that can happen, and we are very excited about that. And all others, even the primary schools as well, we are involved with them in one way or another.